Welcome to the Spiritual Cafe. Today on Chat Time, we have Andrew A. Budgel, and he's the Director for Public Relations for the Salvation Army in the land of Ecuador. And today he's going to tell us a little bit about his role and the work that he's involved in. Thank you. I'm, um, I'm honored to, to speak uh, today about, uh, about what the Lord's called me to at this point in my life. Um, after being a uh, the Corps officer of David for 20, 26 years, as you've been a Corps officer for pretty much all of your uh, term of officership. Uh, I, I won't deny that it, uh, you know, that it was an easy adjustment from the life of a pastor and Corps officer to, to my current role. So the first year truly was a bit of a challenge transitioning and growing into a new role. And uh, dare I say a little bit of grief. You know, one, once you move away from a congregational setting, and uh, where one of your delights among many is to weekly prepare yourself in the Word and to preach the Word to your people, your congregation on Sunday. So there's a sense of grief when you move away from that for the first time. So it was transitioning. But I think it's safe to say that I've, uh, that I've grown into this role. And whilst there are some aspects of it that I, I, uh, I've taken to, you know, like uh, the proverbial duck to water, I... Uh, you know, there are still some aspects of it that, that challenge me. Well, that's okay, too, because we need to be challenged in whatever we do. It's, it's the challenges that bring us from here to here in our lives, whatever it might be, and force that growth. And, and it's the same in what I'm doing. My, my role defined, uh, the title they've given me is, is Divisional Secretary for Public Relations and, and Development. Uh, the public relations piece of it, uh, people might say, well, you know, He's not on camera every day, or he's not on radio every day. You know, we hear him time to time. What does he do with the rest of his time? Right? Well, in actual fact, the media piece of it is only a part of public relations. It's a very small yes. part of it. In fact, it's an important part, but it's uh, it's only a small part of it. Um, public relations, in a, you know, in its broader context and scope, means that you, you you're connecting with people in the broader community outside of Salvation Army. You're connecting with you're, commit, you're connecting with government on all levels as needed, you know, whether that's to, uh, to, uh, to, to help secure funding for some of our social programs, whether it's a conversation about uh, current issues that, uh, that concern us as the Salvation Army. Uh, but there's a pretty consistent connection with the, with, uh, with, our, with the political community. And that's something that actually has been, believe it or not, quite refreshing to be able to just encounter people at that level to have conversations and be able to tell the Salvation Army story. It's a real privilege. And, uh, and, uh, and we're well received with, with, within the political community, and we're grateful for that. Um, even though we are apolitical, we, you know, yes. we don't take sides, but we realize that we, there are political issues and, uh, that we need to be, uh, to be aware of and need to be engaged in. Uh, the other part of public relations, probably the bigger part, relates to the development. Development is fundraising, essentially. So my office is responsible for raising uh, Red Shield dollars uh, involving in the Christmas campaigns, particularly in St. John's. And uh, that's, that's a huge challenge, uh, one we've seen a lot of growth in. And so it means that uh, that uh, drives us out into the, the corporate community, the business community, to try to seek, uh, to tell our story and to, uh, and to uh, receive support for our programs. And so that occupies a lot of our time, and uh, but it's again it's quite gratifying. It's 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 tough work out there because you know as I say we're not the only show in town anymore. We're not the only act in town. If you can put it that way, there are so many other agencies and so many worthy groups and organizations out there. Uh, whereas perhaps 50 years ago we were the only ones doing it, maybe one or two others. Uh, right now you have you know endless number of great agencies and organizations that are doing this work. And so all that to say there's more competition for that charity dollar. And so we really can't, we don't get it by default anymore. We have to go out there. We have to tell our story. We have, we have to, uh, dare I say, uh, compete in a good way, in a positive way for the, uh, for the charity dollar in support of our programs. And so that's tough work, it's tough slugging, but it's also gratifying work because it allows you, even when people come back at you and say, you know, we're not able to support you this time, or we're supporting another cause, uh, 
nevertheless, we really appreciate the work of the Salvation Army and the community. And uh, so it's, it's, we've had some wonderful meetings, some wonderful reactions. And from a ministry point of view, that's where the ministry is for me. Just encountering people who are not Salvationists, having the opportunity to share uh, the Salvation Army story with the whole that in the process you're telling the salvation story too, which is our ultimate goal. So that's that's what I'm engaged in as well as the executive role there at DHQ, which which obviously demands a lot of your time. And I'm involved this year in the uh, uh, steering committee for Congress, uh, involved with the downtown project, the redevelopment of our Springdale Street projects uh, with the, the steering committee. Uh, chairing that steering committee. So there are other roles uh, that are de as defined by the division commander, but primarily my role is in the area of public relations and fundraising to ensure that our social programs continue to function and that our mission is uh, is served in the community. We've uh, just come through the Christmas campaign, of course. And, yes. Uh, that was, uh, I understand, fairly successful. Uh, yes. Uh, here in the, in the city of St. John's, we exceeded our kettle uh, goals by uh, Ten thousand dollars, and our specified donations were up about six or seven thousand dollars over last year. So we've seen a, a very good increase. And what's true in St. John's is true in many of the communities across the province. And uh, an excellent response to their local campaigns, and I think it's a reflection of the fine work that's being done in so many of our communities now across the province. And uh, our hats are off to uh, to our officers and to our volunteers. Uh, you know, at the, at the local levels, so people who work very hard, uh, not just to raise funds at Christmas, but to provide services in the community year-round. And we're very grateful for, for the support of our own people and of the broader community. I'm sure, I'm not going to ask you about the volunteers, but I'm sure that's a very important part of, uh, of all we do. It's a critical piece of what we do. Uh, yes. We, you know, one of the things that we're happy to report in our uh, you know, our annual reports to the public each year is that we're able to keep our, our costs to about uh, 12, 13 percent range. And, you know, Canada revenue expectations for charities is that they would keep, uh, they would keep the, uh, the expenses to about 35 percent maximum or below that. So, as you can see, where we, we get a top rating from a Revenue Canada perspective in terms of expenses. So in terms of staffing, we're lean and mean, but in terms of volunteers, uh, you know, we're blessed. And that's, that is the key to the success of the Salvation Army, and whether it's at the congregational level, the core level, or whether in our social programs, whatever, it it's, you know, volunteers are the engine that makes this, this thing work, and uh, we're blessed and thankful. Thank you very much. I'm sure there's other things we could chat about for a long time, but uh, I do thank you, and may God bless you in your continued ministry. Thank you, and God bless you and all.